News are ba oh, news are ba. There is news and there is gist. Gonna for I cannot wait to share this word good news this great news this wonderful news this hey god in fact this is the kind of news i love to hear <laughs> let's just what dive straight in hello gs partners news about news about there is news and there is gist news about <laughs> this one is hot news this one is very very hot it's still on the fire we have not even bring it down from the fire it is hot like fresh fresh hot hot hey you say sandy which one is hot hot again mm, before i tell you this hot news if you know you're not following my other channel paper chum, go and check it out i just even posted a very interesting lovely video that you would love to watch paper chum, go and check it out so it's called sandy's joyful space thank you very much so let's just begin to break down this hot news digest it anyway let me tell you i can't even wait so president akufuado commissions 30 million dollar factory at ningo pram pram mm -hmm. how did it sound no how did that sound <laughs> hold on you will now say what kind of factory what are you talking about i will give you the details so president akufuado has commissioned the atlantic life sciences limited and this company is part of the 1d1f project mm -hmm. i know you guys already know the 1d1f project uh -huh. no need to go about that again mm -hmm. so let's just continue so this is a private company that the government the ministry of trade and industry ministry of health ghana Ezim bank standard shattered bank food and drugs authority traditional authorities and foreign partners they've collaborated together they've come together to put up this massive huge factory <clears throat> so you will now say okay what is this factory about what will they be doing i will tell you what they will be doing so this factory is under the healthcare sector and they'll be engaged in what manufacturing of vaccines anti snake serums eye drops inhalation anesthesia products serums tablets and capsules in where lakleku so guys they'll be doing a lot of things you can see that it's be brave brave it's not one thing they will be doing <laughs> they will be producing a lot of things and you can see that all those things that i mentioned they are very very important they are very very useful to you and i like to everyone so this facility in fact is a wonderful one it's a great one i'm just excited because <laughs> Is under the healthcare sector and anything healthcare it gets me over the top excited because as i always say health is wealth and i love when the government of a country is investing a lot in health sector even here in germany they don't joke with health so oh, hey no 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 if you don't have insurance the, the way they will be on your neck in fact you can never say you don't have insurance here it's by force you will not be asking please is it your insurance or is my insurance <laughs> that's not their business so everyone has to be insured that is how much they care about health and guys that's very fantastic because you cannot underrate the healthcare sector so guys they said this is the 107th factory that has been established under the 1d1f initiative out of the 278 enterprise that they plan to establish so you can see they are moving like they are moving very well and not only that so you see this facility is also going to create job opportunities hmm oh this is also the part i love to hear when you hear job opportunities like it will be creating 380 direct jobs and also 400 workers will be employed when the factory is fully in operation like they are fully working so in total this factory will be employing at least 2500 indirect jobs to Ghanaians. oh <sighs> okay that's all I don't know what to say that's all <laughs> that's all let's just read it from the horse's mouth because like make us be brave, brave let's read it from the horse's mouth president akufuado commissions 30 million dollar factory at ningo pram pram president akufuado has commissioned the atlantic life sciences limited a company operating under government's one district one factory initiative speaking at the commissioning ceremony on friday 22nd april 2022 President Kufuado stated that the ceremony is in further fulfillment of the promise by government in partnership with the private sector to set up at least one medium to large scale enterprise in every district of Ghana. According to the president, 
whilst previous attempts at rural economic revitalization in Ghana have focused mainly on the provision of physical infrastructure facilities, the One District One Factory program focuses on the promotion of commercially viable business ventures to generate sustainable and accelerated economic development for rural communities. It stated that Atlantic Life Sciences Limited, with the support of government in 2017, established this new facility in the healthcare sector, engaged in the manufacture of vaccines, anti snake serums, eye drops, inhalation anesthesia products, syrups, tablets, and capsules in Lakleku under the One District One Factory program. It is the 107th factory completed and operating under the 1D1F initiative. Out of the 278 enterprises being established and rehabilitated across the country, and I congratulate the promoters and management of the company for taking advantage of this program, he said. President Kufuado was happy to note that the Ministry of Trade and Industry, in collaboration with Ghana Ezim Bank and Standard Shattered Bank, has since 2017 supported this company to benefit from the 1DYF program. Out of the total investment for the project, which is estimated at 35 million US dollars, Ghana Ezim Bank provided a credit facility to the tune of 10 million dollars for the procurement of plant, equipment, and machinery. This, according to the president, underscores the kind of support given by government to the private sector to take advantage of economic opportunities in the country. President Kufado was pleased to learn that. This new factory is generating some 380 direct jobs and when fully operational, we generate additional direct employment for some 400 workers. In addition, the facility is expected to create a total of 2,500 indirect jobs. It commended the collaborative work between the Ministry of Trade and Industry, Ministry of Health, Ghana Ezim Bank, Standard Shattered Bank, Food and Drugs Authorities, traditional authorities and foreign partners of the company for providing the requisite support towards the establishment of the state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. So guys, you have heard for yourselves, like <coughs> you've heard from the horse's mouth. There's nothing much I can say. <laughs> Just know that mm -mm, I am excited about this facility and anything that has to do with health sector can't send it in. That is it. So as I heard this news, I say I have to bring it to my gist partner. So hey, what am I waiting for? So me but Joe, if you have watched this point, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're on this channel, you have not yet subscribed, <laughs> what are you waiting for? There are more gist, more news, more hot, hot topics. <clears throat> Please help me hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that we do button. So that anytime there is news like this, you'll be the first to hear. Nobody will tell you, you will hear with your ears, you will see with your eyes that ah, news are bad. There is news and there is gist. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love, your support. God bless you all and see you all in my next video. Bye.